my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So today I have an unboxing of an online plant haul that I made. So a few days ago I posted on Instagram that I had a battle with me. Oops, oh, spilled my coffee. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, let us continue. I'll just move this farther from my box. So as I was saying, I um, posted a few days ago that I was battling mealybugs. So the dreaded mealybugs attacked one of my parodia dish arrangement. And um, it actually killed three so it was an arrangement so I had several parodias in that uh, dish arrangement it attacked all of them but I lost three and then the rest are I'm trying to root them so I'm hoping they'll still recover but they don't look good anyway so I felt so mad that I went online and started doing shopping online for cactus <laughs> yes that's so that's the story how I ended up having another cactus plant haul so having mealy bugs guys is really bad but what is worse is getting root mealy bugs and that's what I had root mealy bugs because um, with root mealybugs, you cannot see them. So you don't know that your plants are infested until it shows on the cactus itself. And usually when it does that, it is it has already done a lot of damage on your plants. So I had root mealybugs on my parodia. I only found out because I was moving the parodia dish and one of the cactus fell on its side and I saw that it had no more roots and what was left on the roots there were the mealybugs the white mealybugs and then I was hoping that I will be able to still save them so what I did was I sliced the bottom part but whoa I found out that the mealybugs actually ate the roots and they worked their way up inside the cactus right at the center or at the core of the cactus inside so there i did not see any mealy bugs outside the only sign that i saw is the cactus was shrinking so i just thought it was severely dehydrated over the summer but no it was because there was mealy bugs eating up the cactus from the inside so i end up losing two oh three three cacti and then the rest I think a couple of them I was able to, I think I will be able to save them. So I sprayed them with a solution of alcohol and water. More, I think it's about 50 or 60% alcohol and then water with a, a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid. So that's what I used to spray on the cactus to kill the mealy bugs. And then I let them out to dry and then I potted them again. And I'm just waiting maybe uh, two more days and I plan to water that cactus that got attacked with mealybugs. I, I plan to water it with a systemic, a systemic uh, insecticide. So hopefully that will save those two cactus although they are not looking very good. <laughs> so anyway, that is why I ended up doing an online online ordering just to make me feel better <laughs> so i have four oh eight i ordered eight cactus here these are all from planet desert and if you've been watching my channel for a few months now you know guys that i collect cactus because of their flowers so a lot of these cactus I ordered because of the flowers that they will produce. So, as always, when you order from them, they come potted um, really nice. So, it comes 
in a pot with soil and complete with top dressing as well as a label. This is the first one. This is a tallow cactus. So I believe I only have one tallow cactus in my collection. So this will be the second one. This one I got this because it will produce a silky white flower. But then it can also be light pink. But I like the petals because it's a silky type of petal. This one seldom offsets. So propagation would be by seeds. How I wish I have two. <laughs> but then I have that other tallow cactus. So maybe I can cross pollinate them. So this next one. This is a medio, medio lobivia. Okay. So this one. That is the name of this cactus. So this one is said to be a clumping one. So this is a clumping cactus that produces a flower that is variable in color. So it could be white, pink, red, salmon, or orange. So it will be interesting to find out what color of flower I will get from this one. Right, and then now we have a Lobivia. So Lobivias are now classified also under Echinopsis. So this one, its origin is from Peru and Bolivia. In the Planet Desert website, the flower is said to be, it can be orange or yellow. So this one, it also forms a cluster. Now the next one that I have for you is a rather big one compared to the rest. So this one is a Pseudo Lobivia Cortina Shiana. Okay, so this one according to the website is a good beginner cactus because it is easy to grow and it will produce a large magenta flower. Okay, and then since I have been getting questions from a lot of you guys, as to what type of soil this cactus comes in so I think I will show you guys now what so let me just take one cactus out of its pot so it comes with top dressing which is good the top dressing is gravel yeah these are gravel and then if it's still the same I know they use a very gritty mix, mix with mostly pumice in it. So let's see if it's still the same. So I'm taking one out of the pot just to show you guys what is in their soil. Okay. So as I see it, it is mostly pumice. So it is very gritty, sandy as well. I'm not sure what kind of organic material they used. But yeah, this is the type of soil that it is in. So, it is good. It is very gritty. So, it saves you guys from um, getting root rot. Especially that it comes in plastic pots. So, if you have plastic pots, you would want your soil to be very gritty. So, this is the type of soil that they're in. Now, it's up to you guys if you want to leave it in this soil or change it to your own soil. In the past, I have some cacti that um that i ordered from them that i rem that i did not repot right away and it stayed in the pot for at least a year 
and they did well they flowered but you know me guys i like having terracotta pots so i will be changing the pots into terracotta and while doing that i might as well change the soil too to the type of soil that i use the next one i have for you this is cactus number five okay cactus number five this is a frilea so i only have one frilea in my collection and it is still a seedling <laughs> so it will be a while before it flowers so i ordered a frilea hopefully this will flower sooner than the seedling that i have okay so this frileas don't grow very big but they are known to have very large flowers even bigger than their bodies so this is the name of this frilea here is the cactus it is not very big but i do see a lot of babies so it is already forming a clump this next cactus that i have for you this is an eriosis so the name it still says neochilinea although they have been classified now under eriosis now this one will produce a fuchsia colored flower with a white center i only have one surviving eriosis in my collection Eriosis are very challenging, at least for me, because they are very rot-prone. But the flowers are very beautiful. The one, I used to have an Eriosis napina. It flowered for me. Fortunately, it developed a fruit and I was able to harvest seeds. Now I am growing the seedlings. But unfortunately, the mother cactus died from rot. So this is very rot-prone, so just be very careful when you are watering your Eriosis. Mm. good coffee so next one this is i don't know what it is oh there oh another thalo cactus i forgot that i ordered two thalo cactus in this purchase so i have another thalo cactus so that will be thalo cactus number three in my collection All right, so this is the name of this cactus. This one is another one that it says will have a, I think a purple flower and it should be easy to take care of, hopefully. <laughs> and it just said in the website that it needs a lot of light and a lot of airflow. Okay, now this last one that I have for you guys is something that I have been in search for for quite a while now, ever since I saw its flower. So it is an Echinocereus lawi or lawii. <laughs> so this one has uh, nice pink flowers, sometimes um, like purple, purple or pink flowers. But what I like about this cactus, guys, this Echinocereus, is that it produces a flush of flowers so unlike the rainbow hedgehog that's also an echinocereus that produces maybe two three if you're lucky four flower at the same time four flowers at the same time this one will produce a flush so there will be several buds forming around the cactus so kind of reminds me of my cl claret cup cactus that's also an echinocereus so this one will also produce a flush of flowers and it's it is said to produce flowers even at a young age so hopefully i will get to see the flowers on this one soon maybe next year knock on wood <laughs> next spring so there you have it friends these are all the cactus that i purchased online just because I got so mad that those mealies ate up my cacti. <laughs> so I ended up doing an unexpected online plant haul. Alright, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants. So until next time guys, bye and cheers!